What's up, bitches? It's Friday, week 117. We're finally closing out the week, and uh, we've had an amazing week. And you know what? I I'm, I'm, uh, I'm excited, not only because we had a kick-ass guest here today, but this is the script right here. See this Dos Equis? Beer. That's the, this is the script. We're, we're coming into this one. We don't normally do this. Typically, cameras organized a lot of fucking cards for me. But this is the script, and we're just uh, celebrating Cinco de Mayo a day early. 3.2 carbs, man. It w <laughs> I don't know what this one is. That's but, about uh, 50. Is it? Yeah. Shit. Uh, right. Now I know why you suggested the The benefits life. of the amber, brother. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? I'm, I'm getting skinny. You can replace the it back good on meal. anyway, right? Yeah, no dinner tonight. <laughs> no dinner tonight. That's Drink right. our dinner, baby. Drink the dinner, baby. So let's introduce the people here in the studio. Uh, and obviously, we're going to make our way rounds to Zach over here on Stick of Moderation. And yeah, sorry, Zach. You know, you're the most important, so you got to go last. <laughs> and, and save you for last. Oh, dude, you can't say fuck on the show. I'm sorry. Yeah. I should go. You can say That's fuck. bullshit, dog. <laughs> yeah, bullshit. <Look> that. <laughs> Hogan Camera Carter over on Stick em. What's up, brother? Hello. Did you have fun watching Spider Man 3 last night? Dude, I didn't fall asleep. But I'll save it. I, I want some other people to watch it first, and then uh, I'm gonna. No, they've already it. they've already spoiled it for everyone in that chat. It sucks so. fucking balls. All right, wow. Well, I hated it. wow, there you go. It was terrible. Nice. That was the uh, short and sweet review over there by a camera. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Over on production, we've got DJ Rowe. What's up? What's up, dude? I am ready. Are you? You know what I'm ready for? What's that? Actually, having a musician in the studio, brother. The first time. So. Yeah, so How many actually, times have you changed your pants today, Rome? <laughs> I, I have not had to change my pants, but I think in the middle of the song I might come a few times, so we'll see. All right, now, now, Zach, Rome is uh, Rome's Rome's uh, big musician, actually, yeah. big musician, and uh, you guys, you guys probably have knowledge beyond what I could even only hope to aspire to have one day. Depending but, uh, on. Did you uh, go to school for music at all? No. I can't hear Zach's mic. Yeah, by the I way. lost I his. Hey, Hoagie, will you yeah. connect his? See, wire? that was supposed to be the. That was supposed to be basically the the you know the <laughs> stick. As we were just gonna That's talk, okay. but you would ah what there is, he is. There it is. Is there this G four? Yeah, what dude, this is. Fuck, this is dude. this is Mike's so far away. <laughs> yeah, see, G four's got professionalism. We just uh, <laughs> we got a bunch out. of jackasses. <laughs> we we hey. do. And lucky for you, this isn't much different than the way the shows usually go anyway. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I never went to school for music. I just sort of started playing to try to get laid, you know? Nice. Hot. That's, that's why the I, other method. That's why I started playing guitar way back in the day. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, I, I can't We say actually played that song earlier. Better. Well, it happened, you know, yeah. I think I, w I went to summer camp and I saw some guy playing Wild World by Cat Stevens around the campfire and, like, he ended up bagging the hottest girl in the cabin, the one that I wanted, and immediately I'm like, that's it. I'm Dude, buying, that's I'm buying it. a Japanese guitar and... Learning some cool. So self-taught, pretty yeah. much entirely. I'm not. Great. I'm not good. No, you don't no. think so. No. I, I, what I've heard, I think is great. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, okay, you know, we uh, got we got a humble guest here. Let's introduce Zach Selwyn. Uh, you may know him from G4's Attack of the Show. Uh, you may know him from his music, uh, ZachariahMusic.com. Um, but he, I think you're going to perform a, a song or two tonight. Sure, on the, man, on the love show. to. We oh, played yeah. your uh, we played your cartoons. I'd like to fuck song yeah. before the show. Good. Uh, that's we probably my favorite one that I've seen. Yeah, that thing is just nonstop, man. It just got 200,000 hits on YouTube, I think, which is pretty impressive for us. I would and, uh, say, I would say so. Yeah, yeah. you know, uh, some people, you know, there's a lot of dicks out there who are like, "Dude, what kind of asshole says he wants to bang Pebbles? Pebbles <laughs> is like four. <laughs> that's lowly hentai dude. anime, you motherfucker. Dude. Pebbles was four in the 60s, dude. She's ripe now. She's, that you're right. Good point. She is ready. Good point. Thank you, Rome. I Cheers knew you were on good that. Person. Roma 
around, Cheer Rome. For that. There we Rome go. around, Rome. Nerd. <laughs> I'll, I'll join you, brother. <laughs> so uh, tell us a little bit about yourself because I think that actually our audience knows you from so many different areas. Oh, but yeah. uh, give us the rundown. You know, give us the Zach. This is your life. Born a Jewish kid in 1975 <laughs> in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, you know, I, it's funny because I, I kind of got into the mainstream of television through an ESPN show called Dream Job, which is right. like a Sports Center American Idol thing that was totally fixed. Really? And uh, yeah. And then I did. And some you stuff took. For you them, were like. So you, you were won that. Right. So I won that. Oh, but I ran, but different. I was the runner-up. If you know what I mean. Oh, oh you know? yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. That's that's basically like every reality TV Pretty show much. I watch. I the got person sand I giant. win gets second. Right. right. Yeah. Exactly. So Bullshit. that happened. Then I did Extreme Dodgeball for a couple of years on GSN. That was really cool. And then Attack of the Show. Uh, I've been there a year now on G4, which has just been one of those jobs that I had no idea what it was when I got it. And then, lo and behold, now I'm like, this is the greatest job of all time. Yeah, because so. you do a, you do an assortment of things over there on Attack of the Show. Um, yeah. We played a few of the bits earlier. One of my favorites being the uh, bits from Japan that you did for the <laughs> yeah. Ninja Challenge and, you know, talking to random schoolgirls on the street. Love it. Ladies. Yes. Yes. Cut. Yeah, I love that <laughs> uh, So, uh, tell, I mean, are you, would you consider yourself, you know, this is a show typically, you know, uh, the hardcore, the nerdy, the casual, you know, gamers. Uh, where do you fit in on that? Kind of I thing? have to admit, before I got on G4, I, I was so lost from video games. You know, I mean, Madden 95 was probably the the last game I dominated. <laughs> and right when I got to G4, they were like, yo, dude, here's an Xbox 360. Here's a PS2 at the time. Uh, and learn them. And I was like, fuck. So immediately I played, you know, 12 hours of Derek Jeter baseball and played a couple other things. I'm not really into the first person game shooters, right. but I learned about them and I got to know them more. And then the Wii came out and the Wii I love. Do you? Yeah, I'm a welcome. Big, welcome to the We Lovers. All right, den. guys, it's, it's, been a, yeah, it's, it's been, been a great, great show. show. Uh, uh, but it's time to wrap that. No, I'm just kidding. Get some out of here. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. You guys all hate the fucking Wii. We, right? it's not, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. And I'll just speak first because it'll be the most brief. But I think that it, <laughs> it's not next I gen and, it, and it's sucks. marketed as a next gen and people com try and compare it. And I'm just like, dude, you know, it's cool. It's got its uses, but. You know, for people who love graphics and, and, and decent frame rates and innovation, you know, it's just a controller. That's there's, it. there's two uses for the Nintendo Wii. Use number one, teaching a child how to play video games. <laughs> Use number two, anal penetration. <laughs> uh, those seem to be the two choices. What do you, uh, it's definitely not I want to hear from no. Zach. What do you like on the Wii? You know, I'm a, you know, I have a lot of drinking buddies. You know, and stoner friends, and they come over. And my favorite stoner game friends. is just designing your character. That's like the best <laughs> thing. It's just being like, bing, dude, bing, bing. that is probably the best <laughs> game on the Wii right after, there. Seriously. Make your me. Yeah, after that, I make the me, and I'm like, all right, you know what? It I looks can, like me. It looks like me. Sweet. Let's go bowling. Three frames later, I'm like, you know what? Let's get the guitars out. And <laughs> yeah. There you go. So maybe but I'm not a Wii lover. Maybe see, I just love designing the me character. Now, I'm surprised <laughs> because, uh, you know, you said that you didn't play too much Guitar Hero, but, you know, how, uh, how does a musician look at that game, you know? It's interesting because Guitar Hero, I think, is pretty cool. You know, watching some of the guys on the show, Kevin Pereira is, like, incredible at it. And I thought I saw one of the guitars around here. Yeah, earlier. it's around here somewhere. In um, and I'm down with Guitar Hero because it's actually got some finger skill in there, and it's right. kind of cool. There's this new thing that Gibson's just coming out with. You know what I'm talking about? It's, like, this new guitar joystick button control thing, and it's not even a video game. It's more like a little guitar thing that you follow and, like... It's almost like teaching someone how to play a video guitar instead of playing real guitar. Gotcha. And I liked it when I played it, but I also feel like if you're going to pick up a guitar, pick up a real guitar, right, man. Right, right, You can't get laid around the campfire playing with your little Gibson. It's pure not going to work. You know? I agree. It's not going to yeah. work unless there's a, a gaggle of 14-year-old Asian schoolgirls. Right. And then you might be, you know, the gadgetry alone may uh, may bring it That's to That's kind of funny. Could you see a guy, like, sitting around a, a campfire with the Guitar Hero 2 <laughs> playing Black Sabbath? <laughs> Fuck the generator over in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> Camping, 2009. <laughs> so, uh, not, but, but you know, uh, still uh, you do a lot of, like, offbeat bits, a lot of cultural bits for, uh, for G4 and for Attack of the Show, right? Yeah, man. I mean, I guess to travel the world it's been a great year like i went to japan twice i went to new york about four times chicago canada a few times texas you know all over the country and get to stay for like a week and it's just bitching you know yeah basically like hey here's some per diem 
Uh, tomorrow night is kind of a weird night. You're going to be working a lot. What am I going to be doing? Oh, you're going to go get wasted with a <laughs> bunch of musicians in Austin at South by Southwest and talk to them about what after partying is like. And I'm like, Jesus, That's how did tough. I win this game? Of yeah. Life? <laughs> you know? So it's cool. And, you know. So where's the coolest place that you visited? God, man. I think Japan has to be up there. Asia yeah. is pretty badass, too. You guys have yeah. been? We well, just went to I've China not Japan. too long we ago. We just got back yeah. from China. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, of the of the Asian uh, countries out there, definitely like Japan and Korea yeah. um, are really up there uh, for me. Amazing, amazing places. And actually, yeah. I read a great article the other day, believe it or not. You know those fucking Hemisphere magazines that you see in the oh, back yeah. of, like, United, whatever? I don't think I've ever read an article in one of those things, but actually they had this great article about how Japan was was turning into like the next hottest like family vacation spot. Interesting. And one thing that I didn't get to do when I was out there that I really love to is you know go to the fish markets. Apparently that is yeah. where the food is the cheapest and the best. And uh, you know, so reading that, I was just started getting the bug again. Yeah. Like, you know, when when the fuck is it gonna happen? Man, once you have that sushi from Japan, you're like, I, it's over, right? Know? Screw yeah. the valley. Yeah, exactly. It ain't shit. <laughs> over I'm not here. going to Ventura Boulevard again. <laughs> I'm going to Yoshinoya. So, not so, the beef bowl, the real town. <laughs> <laughs> do you also travel a lot for your music? I do, man. It's cool because our band has been slowly, you know, gaining popularity and we've played a lot of private parties, you know. We get paid to go out to like you know, some guy's fortieth birthday party in the middle of Colorado on a ranch and we just play there for three hours and we're just like are you kidding me they put us up in aspen and we're hanging out like that That's stuff hap that doesn't happen a lot but when it does happen it's great right do you and do bar mitzvahs i do absolutely <laughs> how many bar Good mitzvahs question, have you oh, done you guys have no idea before really? I got, before i got into the tv business man well, i've done was, a bot mitzvah yeah mc no i was filming oh yeah i emceed and dj probably <laughs> close to a thousand Bar and Bar Mitzvahs from Dude. 1996 that to about to 2001 or do you, 2002. Do you do circumcisions? <laughs> yes, I can slice you right now if you want. Right. <laughs> I'm, ready, I'm ready. Let's go. That was camera. That was cam? And, and he definitely probably needs it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, man, I, I was, actually that's went what to a I Jewish did. school preschool. You did? Yeah, little known fact about camera. Wow. I was, I was almost raised Jewish. I know now why it is a little known fact. <laughs> yeah. Because it is not Because nobody gives me. a shit where it's you went to elementary school. It's not my life school. at all, camera. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's talk a little bit. Uh, you brought in some CDs, and what we're going to do is, uh, at least I hope you brought some extras. I assume we're going to get to give away yeah, uh, absolutely, some folks man, on the you know. show. Uh, but tell us about some of the CDs we got here. Uh, in fact, chronological order of the discography would be sure. cool. Sure. All right. Well, uh, this, am uh, I about right? I'll start with it, the I newest. Think I think it's like this. How about I start with the oldest? This one, okay. Ghost Signs. This is from 2003. We recorded it in 02. Um, it's a country rock record, you know, and it, it's this is when Fergie from the Black Eyed Peas is in our band. Uh, about it, no you know, shit. Yeah, so she sings on songs two and three on this one. Um, she's kind of hot. She's kind of hot. She wasn't that hot when she was doing this with us, though. She was kind of a tweaked out meth freak. Oh. Yeah, I banged her. Well, uh, that's one Did step you? before <laughs> you get hot. You Dude, know, I mean, you gotta that, get skinny you know, first, right? Exactly. There's, a, there's an unwritten <laughs> rule about you know always trying to bang. The uh, you know the the meth freak. The one band that I was in actually, I did bang the hot guitar playing chick. Did nice. nice. Yeah, that's yeah. why that band fucking fell apart. Right? Yeah, because the and drummer wanted her, dog. Veruca ah, Salt. Hey man, see? she got pissed at me. See, <laughs> all right. So Ghost Town. So Ghost Signs. Ghost yeah, this signs, record uh, came out, and a lot of these movies were uh, songs were in that movie Dead and Breakfast that I was. Now, in. what style? I mean, you know, I I don't feel bad asking this because you you admitted earlier that you don't really watch the show, so I don't really listen to your music. What style right. of music is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's pretty much, you know, outlaw country, man. It's okay. like Johnny Cash, nice, Waylon, old man. school country, Christopherson. Yeah. There's nothing Nashville about this. You know, it's all drinking, heartbreak, drug and music, and uh, you know, just love songs that are buried in misery and alcohol. How many of these <laughs> like uh, gaming themed songs do you do? Is that just for you know the the occasional YouTube stunt? Well, yeah. Well, or the, uh, is that like uh, you know something that you do all the time and may maybe make a disc with? Well, it, it's interesting, man. I was a rapper a long time ago. And awesome. we actually watched your Stargate video. You see video the Stargate right video, on, yeah. right? Like uh -huh. that cartoons I'd like to fuck that song. It's a rap song and it's funny rap and when I, in like 99 I think I was uh, I'm a fucking great freestyler. Oh really? Know? So I'm doing this Shit, on a stage dude. and we're, some guy We're going to be doing a rap album. We're going to drop one. <laughs> All right, I want in I want in on it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. We we we've we've, seriously we've got been track number it. 7 on lockdown <laughs> featuring Zach Selwyn. That's, that's Zachariah Hedonistic. Oh, oh 
shit. <laughs> Drop it. <in> the <laughs> We've got bombs. white diamond. Dude, now Zachariah. I need I need a better one, dog. I need a better stage. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be upstage. So uh, well, yeah. So I did like this Stargate thing. Uh, you know, after I had this whole thing, that's how I met Fergie, doing some rap stuff, and this record deal that fell apart, thank God. <laughs> and I got into the country stuff, and a lot of this is actually country and rap combined, um, which is almost what cartoons are like to fuck is, which right. is what my ESPN song was, which is what the, uh, you know, Dead and Breakfast song, We're Coming to Kill Ya, which is pretty popular out there, and then, you know, this Stargate Atlantis thing, too. It's all kind of jokey stuff. Like, I don't right. take hip-hop seriously. I'm not, an, I'm not a battle MC. I'm right. not to you're not an angry rapper. No. You're a happy rapper. I like Will Smith. He raps happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Will Smith is, is a legendary rapper. A slick I, Rick. Every, I would See, I would say you would have that early 90s style based I on do. what I've heard. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm yeah. certainly no Dirty South crunk, you know, motherfucker. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like if you listen to this EP right here, this is the, the other one. Uh, Cartoons I'd Like to Fuck. We put this out when the YouTube came out. And right. it's got a, this has another song I did with Fergie called Other Side on it. And a song called Ezaculate, which is pretty badass. That sounds fun. Yeah. And then a couple versions of Cartoons I'd Like to Fuck. So, you know, there's some funny rap on here. It's nothing serious. So and then this is the newest one, Alcohol Holiday. Okay. This one is a, a deep, dark journey now, I noticed into liver failure. The, di <laughs> the difference uh, is is that it, it you actually, this is you and your band. Right. The Lobos Riders. That's a great, great observation, yeah. actually. Yeah. yeah. I'm usually quite <laughs> good at that. Do you, plan, do you have any plans on breaking out solo? Yeah, well, well this know. was solo, Rance. Where the fuck have you been for the last five minutes? Oh, shit. I'll tell you, man, it's interesting. 